Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to The Huddle, the Review's weekly sports show. Jeff Supanik and Rob Toder. And in this segment, we're going to talk about the Mount Union Purple Raiders. And, Jeff, you were at that game last Friday, uh, in or last Saturday, rather, at Heidelberg. Uh, really uh, a game that a lot of people were looking at around the country, and the Purple Raiders just came in and dominated. Yeah, they did. I mean, very, very impressive. Probably the most impressive win to date for this team. And, you know, they've all really been impressive, but they just came out. Very, the thing that surprised me was Heidelberg won the toss, and they elected to put their defense on the field first versus their high-powered offense. And first play of the game, Mountain, just like they did a couple weeks ago against BW, short pass, 70-yard touchdown. And that was essentially the game. Heidelberg coach said it really took a lot out of them. They were real fired up. And you know, Mountain Union's defense was just really the difference in that game. D'Angelo Fulford, the quarterback from Mount Union, 17 to 24 passing, 341 yards. Jared Ruth, who caught that first touchdown pass, six catches for 151 yards and two scores. Justin Hill, five catches for 158 yards and two scores for the Purple Raiders. Right now, what's it going to take for a defense to slow down this Mount Union offense? I, I honestly, I mean, it's it's tough. I've seen some teams over the years that have been loaded. This team is right up there on offense with. You know, Fulford's ability to beat you with his arm and his legs, short ball, deep ball, then the receivers. And then, you know, if you play on the receivers, you got the two running backs, Jawanza Evan Morris and um, Josh Petrozelli, who can both go over 100 yards. They did two straight games. So, I mean, it kind of pick your poison. Heidelberg, I think, was content with a very good defensive line to stop the running game and, you know, the passing game. And another key point with Mount Union's offensive line, they give up zero sacks to the team that was leading the nation in sacks going into that game. Okay. Well, Capital is uh, at Mount Union Stadium this coming Saturday. Of course, make sure you check out the review.com uh, all week for previews and, of course, coverage throughout the day on Saturday. And then in the next Monday's Alliance Review, we'll have the game coverage as well. So give us a, a quick scouting report on the Crusaders. Um, struggling team a little bit. You know, they had a tough game with Ohio Northern over the weekend where, you know, they gave up 407 yards to Ohio Northern's running back who the week before had 48 against Mount Union. So I'm sure that'll be in the game plan for the Purple Raiders this yeah. week is what capital is going to look to take away. And if you're Mount Union, you just keep doing what you have to do. But I think for capital, you got to come in and try to find something that you can do well and, you know, stick with that. Then just hope maybe you can catch a break or two and then maybe you'll catch them on an off day. Okay. Well, make sure, again, you check out the review.com and the review for coverage of, of this game coming up. For Jeff, this is Rob. We'll talk to you next week.